How's it going? My name is Mike. I am the Quantitative Options Analyst here at Haiku Trading, and today I'm going to show you how to sell a cash-secured put. Keep in mind this video is made purely for educational purposes only, and I am not a registered financial advisor. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe for more future content. In the most simple terms, you can view a cash secured put as a limit order to buy 100 shares of a stock at a lower price than it is currently trading at. The price you pick is called your strike price. You must have enough funds in your account in order to buy 100 shares of the stock at the strike price. For accepting this obligation to buy 100 shares at the strike price, you are paid a premium. On the expiration day, if the stock stays above your strike price, you will keep all the premium you received and your funds will be put back into your account. If the stock falls below your strike price, you will be forced to buy 100 shares at the strike and you still get to keep the premium as income. Let's go over a quick example. If AMD is currently trading at $80, you could sell a put with a strike price of $70 and collect, let's say, $0.50 cents in premium. If AMD stays anywhere above $70 on the expiration date, then you would simply pocket the $50 premium as income. If AMD drops below $70 on the expiration date, the contract will be exercised and you will be forced to buy 100 shares of AMD at $70 and still keep the $50 premium as income. So cash secured puts should only be sold on stocks that have liquid options and are good to hold forever. You should not trade more than one to two blue chip stocks for simplicity. The most optimal time to sell a cash secured put is when the stock is trading at the lower end of its trading range. Generally, you should sell put options when volatility is high and the stock that you are trading is red for the day. You should choose a strike price that is below the current share price that you wouldn't mind owning the stock at forever. The expiration date should generally be about 21 to 45 days out for the most optimal premium. Selling CSPs have many benefits such as allowing you to earn passive income trading as little as 15 to 20 minutes per day. As a long term investor you can also sell CSPs to acquire shares of stock at a discount that you already own. The only downsides to selling cash secured puts is that the gains are fairly slow and passive. Cash secured puts can also tie up a lot of buying power in your account. If you sell a put and the price falls below your strike, you have a couple of options. You can roll it out to a further expiration date for additional credit. However, you should only roll your put if you can collect additional premium. You should not pay a debit to roll as this is usually not worth it. Your next option is to accept assignment of the 100 shares and hold it until it recovers. In conclusion, cash secured puts are a high probability strategy that can generate passive income. In order to increase your win rate, you should only sell CSPs when the stock is trading at the lower end of its trading range or the stock was red for the day. The strategy only requires around 15 minutes of managing per day and is relatively stress free. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something from this educational video. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And also comment some more educational topics you guys would like to see below.